the Top Tier Opinions. I'm Marissa Roberto, a.k.a. Turkish Delight. <laughs> I'm Top Tier host Brody Moore. At least that's what I tell myself. And hey, if you're new, welcome. And this is how the show works. I'm Rob, and I will each present a topic, and we'll have two minutes for discussion. Ooh, at any point in those discussions, if one of us feels that the other one needs to shut up for a variety of reasons, we can hit this here mute button and put our friend out of misery for 30 seconds. And uh, it's time for you to place your bets, though, because I want you to tell me who you think will mute first. It's a hey, mm -hmm. guys, for me, and a cat button chat for Brody, because, well, look at his face. What, why do I get the cat? What does that mean? What is wrong with the Kappa face? Um, She's a Kappa hater. Kappa. Kappa I love hater. Kappa. Well, you're saying something, you're, you're insinuating quit, something no, bad. No, quit saying move Kappa on, so people put Kappa in chat to vote for you. I know what you're doing. Two minutes on the board. Uh, <laughs> let's kick it off with stories from the great news. Well, I guess great news for Apex Legends players. The first battle pass for Apex Legends came out today. The pass costs roughly 10 US dollars and will feature 100 levels and unlock different skins and items. However, players are unhappy that most of the rewards are banners, level icons, and skins that are pretty disappointing, to say the least. So, Brody Moore, are you excited about this new battle pass? Uh, what would you change about it if you could? Few things on this. Okay. Number one, uh, I'm not putting money into this, so I don't. I'm not particularly attached to items that are in it. Mm -hmm. I've heard some gripes about it. Um, you know, I was even playing Call of Duty the other day. I'm like, some of these skins are uninspired, mm -hmm. and and that is very disappointing for people that are investing a lot of time. If they go in and they're like, oh, I'm gonna grind out this battle pass for skins that I don't really care about. It's mm -hmm. it is disappointing for sure. And right now, Apex is in a really good spot to set the bar, like to really push themselves forward. Mm -hmm. And if they co start coming out with disappointing content, that's gonna kill off that battle royale pretty quickly. It, it is a very competitive scene right now in the battle royales. Okay, whatever, buddy. Honestly, what? it's, ten, it's 10 bucks. People can pay it or not pay it and still enjoy that's the game That's another thing. No, what? Almost 10 bucks, right? I think it's 995 coins or whatever, whatever their okay. currency is. And I'm pretty sure you probably can't buy just 995. You probably got 1,000. Now you got five left over because they want you to have some there so that you'll buy more okay, after. Okay, listen, this is, Very all tricky. Just, this is all just speculation on Brody Moore's part because he's not going to buy it anyway. He's not going to put money in it anyway. So what does he really even care? I'm not going to put money in it either. I'm enjoying the... Why are you tripping No, I'm just this? saying, don't chirp if you're not even going to spend the dough. This is for, honestly, kids. I swear to God, because it's happened in Fortnite, kids got to get the skins, they got to get the emotes, or else the other kids online are making fun of them and they're bullying them. So we'll see if this kid off or does anything with Apex at all with the kids that are playing, we don't need this stuff. And I think it's a beautiful part of freemium games. You don't need it. When you don't need it, that means it's a valuable freemium game because we don't actually need these things to play and make sure that we're good in game. It's just skins and that's all it should be is skins. I appreciate this. At the same time, what? I really do like that rape knife. And I want it, but I won't spend money. I was just hoping to get it through the, the crates that they give you for free, oh. but I doubt that'll happen because it's a really expensive item. Okay, so what you're really saying is it. It that you're really changing nice. your tune. No, okay. I'm not changing my tune, but it looks really nice, and I can get why people would want to buy it. And, like, it's very tempting, okay. but I'm not. This is what I'm saying. They got some, uh, something shiny. It's glimmering. It caught Brody's eye. They're doing their job. Right? They're, they, they're doing yeah. their job. This is how freemium games work. But not if everyone's disappointed in the skins. Anyways. No. We'll oh see if they God. get new ones in the future. We're they... done here. Sticking oh. to first-person shooters, Call of Duty is getting a mobile game. It will be a free-to-play multiplayer game featuring elements from past COD games, including maps like Nuketown and Crash. No release date is set for the game, though Android users can register for a beta. Mm. Call of Duty on mobile. <laughs> what is this? I'm just what waiting for you to unleash your fury of hate because, number one, it's a mobile game. What? I could, it she doesn't matter. It, it the worst doesn't me matter. At if there's all mobile times. in front of it, if there's mobile in front of it, you immediately hate on it. That's like your quick go to. It doesn't even matter. Nobody gives mobile a chance. I'm sorry. And I know that, like, oh, she's a casual and she likes mobile games. Listen, <laughs> there are some <laughs> really end. great mobile games out there. Just give them a chance, man. Maybe it's not COD. In fact, it's probably not COD, but. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of that, Roller Coaster Tycoon is great. Classic, oh, that Atari, it's really, okay. it's really nice. If I have, Enjoy to, myself, if I have to go down the road, the road and say, you know, like mobile games are acceptable, there is a line I have to draw. Shooters just don't work that well on yeah. it. You know, like shooters, it's hard. But I, what? if this really, I don't know where this is releasing. If this releases in Android. China, though, oh. it is going to do... <laughs> So good. Like, that market is insane right now for, for mobile games. Like, PUBG yeah. is crushing it over there. So, like, if, if 
they release there, this is a really, really smart move for them. They're going to get a couple people from North America just because COD is such a big household name mm -hmm. with, you know, like, the bro gamers and that. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it is a classic <laughs> game. I don't see any bro gamers playing this on mobile. It's, it's, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> some might, you know. Well, a, lot of those, a, lot, a lot of the people that played Call of Duty back in the day are, like, I know so many people that aren't gamers anymore, but they mm -hmm. played Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Maybe now, when they're on their way to, you know, their 9 to 5 or whatever, they're going to play some Call of Duty, get back, you know, the nostalgia in it. Uh, they yeah, could for do sure. It's just obviously the issue of that tactile feedback that you're missing when you're playing a mobile mm -hmm. game when it comes to shooters, okay? So I'm not sure exactly how the mechanics are going to work with this game, um, but you're right about the whole China thing. Absolutely. They saw how quickly PUBG took off. Remember, remember everyone, it's all about the money. It's all about the dough. And mobile games make a lot of freaking dough, especially mm -hmm. overseas, especially in China. So yes, this makes complete sense. As long as they're uh, good skins. As <laughs> the candy disappointing skins. Uh, yeah, of course, fair. It has to be good skins. Fair <laughs> point, Brody Moore. Listen, moving on. Over the weekend at Collision 2019, a Smash tournament in New Jersey, a player named Mars left in the middle of a match because he believed an audience member was shouting out his game plan to his opponent. Mars said this was coaching, and though coaching was not banned at Collision, it was at Genesis last month. So, Brody, should coaching be banned in Smash? Wait, so so Mars had someone yelling his game plan out? Or yes, to his opponent sitting in the audience. Oh, there was an audience was member. Mm. And so he quit the Ooh, match. This is, this is a tricky dilemma. Like, I I'm know. looking at it from like a TO perspective, mm -hmm. because it's like, yeah, to, and, and mm. for those who know, do don't I know, start? Brody used to TO a lot of Smash. Where do I start? Okay, so Smash is great because of that atmosphere. You're face-to-face mm. -face with another opponent, and there's people behind yelling. The trash talk, all that. So FGC is all like that as well. And it's an amazing atmosphere, and that's something I don't want them to ever lose. Mm. But that is a bit of a problem. Mm. If someone has heard or you know, played with you before, and then they want this other person to win, that's almost collusion now. It's like... You, that person needs to be shut up, but how do you do it? Does a TO come in and say, okay, we got to pause till we get rid of this guy? Mm -hmm. Do they just deal with it now? Do they deal with it after? Mm -hmm. That is a really tricky situation to deal with. I, I mean, immediately what I would do is wait till that game is that yeah. game in that set is done, yeah. and then remove the guy, then continue the set. That's what I would do. Okay, but, but I wouldn't but get up and quit. leave. Yeah, no, that that's I would say that's a forfeit. What you need to do is you get up, tell a TO and say, hey, this is a problem. Can you deal with it before mm. we finish the set? Him leaving instantly, that's a forfeit. You're done. You're out. That's, okay, I would so call as it a TO, that's how you'd handle that. You, I, I do agree with that because I do feel like as a player, you need to finish your match. Like mm -hmm. just no matter what, finish. I, I understand that you felt that the situation was unfair. Mm -hmm. Totally fine, valid, and the whole community will back you up. Absolutely. But the fact that the this guy wasn't removed at all. Like, I need to know that there's some kind of ramifications for people coming in. If you're a Smash fan, if you believe in this community, you should be coming into these games, all of them, with fair play in mind. You should never be calling out the opponent's whatever strats to the next person. Like, not cool at all. Just, if we're all in this, we're all in this together. Let's all play fair. Yeah, no, we're at the, the, the FTC <sighs> and Smash included, they need to grow up a little bit. Mm. It's fun, but there is a little bit of growing up to do, mm -hmm. right? All right, moving on. The playoffs for stage one of the Overwatch League begin next weekend, but there's been some confusion over seeding. Mm -mm. Seoul Dynasty and San Francisco Shock are tied for six and seven, and will play a match to decide who gets what seed. But Toronto Defiant and Philadelphia Fusion are both opting for a coin flip to determine the third and fourth seed because they both want the fourth seed to play against the weaker Atlanta Reign in the mm -hmm. first round. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. I got thoughts on this, but I'll let you go first. I, I'll okay. be nice. Oh, you're going to yeah, be nice? Yes, I'll let you, I'll let you set it up, uh, and then I'll do my spiel. I mean, Brody I just don't Moore. want you interrupting me. Uh, <laughs> well, there is a mute button, Brody. But, That's true. Uh, no, this is interesting, because I obviously believe in fair play, like we had just discussed. Mm -hmm. I feel like everything should be played out. If there needs to be a deciding game, that game should be played out. Now, as a fan watching, you for you to cheer for your team to lose is so strange that I understand wanting the coin flip because both teams are not going to want to win this game. And everyone in the audience and all of us watching from home, we all know that they feel this way, right? So it, mm -hmm. makes, us, it makes us as an audience member feel a type of way. Like we want our team to get what they want, but we also don't want them to bend the knee. Like you don't want to see them take a dive in match to not win. Like, that's just bad juju. Yeah. That, is, that is bad juju. So you do not want to not play your best Overwatch. 
right? So coin flip, I feel like, is a fair ask in this situation. I was just letting you go as long as possible. I should have muted because that was exactly my ah. point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think what's incredible about this is that they're giving them the option to do a coin flip rather than play a match. Mm -hmm. um, you know, generally it's just assumed in, in any kind of competition that you play a match to decide a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, I guess, sometimes rock, paper, scissors, but that's usually not why, because there's a little bit of RNG involved, right? So the fact that you're giving a coin flip to it <laughs> is kind of nice, because it just, you, everyone knows that everyone will be trying to throw that match. I'm sorry. It's not even him. What? I'm sorry. Can you back it up one second? How is there RNG involved in rock, paper, scissors? A little bit. How? Huh? Because How? you can't, uh, it's hard, because you don't, there's too many, go. Best of three. Best of three. Eat Best it. of three. See, oh, it's RNG. RNG. That's why she won. It's RNG. No, the That's how you can prove. That's how you can prove. If a game, I saw you looking at close. the mute button. You were going to I didn't have 30 it. seconds to spiel them. That's how you can know if if, if it's an RNG game is if she wins. <laughs> You're so stupid yeah, now. It's time to see what stream snipers are up to in Clip It. Lots of streamers have been hoping on the GTA wig. I'm hopping on the GTA wig and thank you. I can read. <laughs> and streamers, <laughs> Silent Sentry had something to say about the reemergence of GTA 5 mm. roleplay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, roleplay's been around for years, man. It's blown up a couple times that people lose interest because of drama. People, people allow drama. Here's what happens every time on roleplay. I'm going to let you guys know on a secret. Streamers find out their roleplay exists, and it's just a f gold mine for content. They get on there, their view counts inflate, everybody's view counts inflate. Then people stay on, and 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 now they're tired and bored, but they stay on, because when they switch to the other game, their view count goes on, so they stay on. Okay, but is he wrong? No, so I, th I think what, what he's getting at is that people get into it again, mm. and when too many people flood anything, you're going to have a bit of a just... Um, Worsening of the situation, I'm losing Why? my words. Because it, it just um, it waters down the experience, I guess. What happens is people. He was talking about drama, so people get into it. More people get into it. Mm. Um, they stay in it. Mm -hmm. They don't leave it. They get bored of it. So they have to start doing really weird and dumb things, okay. right? That could actually ruin the experience for other people. Okay, Maybe like the someone... Fallout 76 thing that you showed me with the maze uh, with the no, killing that, animal. No, that's so different. That's no, so good. No, that was ruining someone else's experience. No. Yes, it's a perfect example. Thank Th you. That person decided to go into the. Shut up. Moving on. Our next clip is from Shout, who shows us that no matter how hard you try to be good, to be the good guy, bad timing complicates things. Wait, I edited it. We're fine. Holy sh! I don't have time. Oh, I, holy I, I just, oh. shroud! Oh my god, I feel bad. I just. <laughs> Come on, man. He just. He just. <laughs> what do you say? What did he, he say? He said, "Holy f this shroud." Oh, Pepe hands. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Can we get our Pepe hands in chat, please? Pepe hands in chat. Oh, man. That's a feels bad. You actually get into a game where you teamed up with Shroud, and he bails on you. What? That feels bad, man. That, I, how, why? I why get, would you ever do that? Yeah, I do my best not to leave matches, like yeah. to drop out when I've, once I'm in one. But there are times where it's just like, you know, you know you're probably not going to do well with these guys. They mm. picked a bad drop point, and it's like your friend just got on. It's like, well, you know, I could just leave and play. <laughs> there's no rank. Yeah, I don't, I don't find it bad because there's no ranked points right now, right? Okay. Right now, okay. it's you're not messing with someone's rank. If you leave in a ranked match in any game, that's rude. Screw yourself. Yeah, that's straight up rude. It's yeah, that okay. that is that is not cool. But this, it's fine. It feels bad. That's just how good of a guy Shroud is, though. Like, he, he felt so bad that this guy was so stoked to play with him. I know. I love Shroud so much. I'm hoping he's that... He's a good Canadian yeah. boy. Uh, it's time now for profound thoughts as we head to our favorite place to find them, Twitter, where all yeah. of us just shout things out of a window, hoping that someone will notice. <laughs> our first tweet comes from the bathroom stall, a place where I, too, like to do my tweeting. This one comes from Smash Dio Clipboard saying, this bathroom is out of toilet paper and Big Spill is dead ass making me money match for a new role. Yo, straight up? <laughs> this is, this, this is, doo -doo. <laughs> this is the doo doo of evil. As much as I love it, this is what I'm saying, Smatchers. You gotta, what are you doing? <laughs> How dirty that, that's gross, man. Now you got like poop germs all over your, so your nasty. switch. Yeah, that's And so now nasty. you're gonna bring that somewhere else, someone else is gonna touch it. Did you wash your switch? before bringing that out back into the public, into the wild. I feel like this is a good PSA though. Like, yo, if you're going to an event where people are also bringing their switches and you're gonna play some games with them, 
maybe you should just be aware that those switches are probably in the washroom with that person. Like, I'm not saying I haven't played Tetris 99 in the washroom. Like, you just, you need entertainment sometimes. So, That's, you know, just be wary of portable devices and where they may have been. I think just going to a Smash tournament, you kind of have to realize that Smashers weren't <laughs> always known for being top-notch in hygiene, so. Oh, is that, started, you got, is that what you got out of the Smash pretty, scene? The T.O. of the Smash yeah, scene you got yeah. out? Yeah, well, there was actually a clause, fun story. There was actually a clause um, in one of the tournaments I ran that said, <laughs> if you stink, we will take you outside and spray you down with Axe. Straight, that it make was, things better. It was in my, it was, it's better than BL. No, I'm sorry. When you smell horribly and you just spray yourself with like that crap, it's just like, oh, Ano it's like a mix of all different kinds of smells. An okay, another, I can't. Another friend of mine had in his closet, they actually had BL bouncers that would nice. not let you into the venue if you stunk. But yeah. we're going to stick with these guys that we're speaking so much love to. <laughs> just watch stick with stuff. the Smash community from one getting love from Nintendo and the other sort of getting it now. Mm. Hugs has words. Hey Nintendo, here's the entire scene. Uh, here's this entire scene, but we literally built it on our own with established rule sets, casters, players, and personalities. Want to get involved in a meaningful way, maybe? Nintendo, 18 years later. Single limb, timed, items on, smash balls, Wi-Fi, no cash prizes. Cool, got it. Thanks, thanks Nintendo. I mean, I'm sure you have feels uh, about this, considering you've lived in this scene this. for and so long. The thing is, Hugs kind of summarized it yeah. for us there. I mean, like it. It's been that way for so long, and it, and that makes it so hard to get out of that grassroots mentality because mm -hmm. you don't have a first party support coming in and being like, guys, you got to professionalize it up a bit, you know, yeah. because they're not getting that support. How are we gonna do that without yeah, Nintendo yeah, yeah. behind it? And yeah. it, I'm, I was hoping Smash Ultimate would finally be the one that Nintendo was like, yeah, let's do it right. Here's our fresh new game. Yeah. We'll push it. Use it. Even use it as a marketing tool to mm -hmm. sell it to more people who just casually play the game. It yeah. doesn't matter. Support it, you I mean, know? I feel like they support Ultimate a little bit more. A wee bit. I mean, yeah, they're 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 putting on tournaments. Yeah, they have their own with, rule sets for yeah, sure. Yeah, with awful, god awful rule sets. Yeah, I don't like the items on thing. I really don't like that. I don't like playing Smash with items on. And they're at on Wi Fi too. Was it even wired? Yeah, that's that's messed up. That's Ooh, that's an instant. We got feels, Nintendo, we got feels. Uh, and now for something completely different. Um, in the felt cute, might delete later category. Okay. CSGO Pro, question mark, because he kind of is. Uh, <laughs> D-Sanity goes tarps off, noting he's back from the dead. G Jesus. Leaving us all dead. All right. Thank you. That, it, that is a good looking dude. That's um, a, that's a pro? It, uh, okay, first of all, do you feel like it's cool to objectify bods if like they're out there for objectification? Oh yeah, you put it Hot out. Hot topic. Yeah, yeah if, okay, there's, there's a whole <laughs> can of worms are gonna open up here. Absolutely, <laughs> if you put yourself out there and say like, yeah, like look at me, you're not, the only thing, I'll say right now, uh -oh. I won't go into the science too much, the only thing that the human mind can actually recognize is the, brain, or is the face, right? There's a study that came out saying that if you look at any other part of the body, the face is the only thing you can actually recognize. If you're showcasing that and taking attention away from your face, then you're saying, objectify me. The part of your brain that identifies objects is the same as when looking at any part of the body besides the face. So you are saying, objectify me by taking your shirt off and looking hot like that. And that's science. So it's okay. It's <laughs> that okay. is science, brought to you by Brody Moore. You're welcome. <laughs> it's all right, let's move on. That was weird. I guess I gotta start us off with the only thing, uh, crowd controlled, by the way, is what we're starting off. The only thing I know to talk about, it's Rocket League. I've always wondered what RL and VR would be like, and apparently so did TF Bradley. So he did just straight up make it. <laughs> Steal this ball. We're going up the wall for it. And we spin out right before we get there. Yeah, we both of this. Oh, oh man, this looks like how we actually play Rocket League. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, the cheeky chip. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's legit, dude. Yeah, you're so excited about this. So the only thing I realized after those, I don't know if that would be good with like flipping around. Like they didn't Heck add flips, no. they had jumps and there was no boosting it looked like. And to be fair, they were driving like Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> you just bust out your Corvette and Lamborghinis yeah. and get into some Rocket League. So it's less Rocket League, more just to, car To ball. be fair though, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, Rocket League does have car, like real life cars. Like they yeah. put the Nissan Skyline in there, right? Okay. Like there are, there are real cars in there. The Jurassic yeah. Jeep as well. Okay, let's do a mix. How about let's mash up Rocket League and Forza Horizon? In VR. Shall we? In VR. In VR. That Maybe not VR. Special. That could be. I don't get nausea, but that 
could no, no, so no flip. So no flip. So okay, it was just no like a, there's just a, a ball on the road that you need to get okay. to a certain point. Just like that'd a, be fun, a yeah. Straight race with the ball. Yes. Yeah, oh, that'd up. be that'd be chaos, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm down. If you guys, our next clip comes from the latest episode of The Simpsons, which Ooh. has been blowing up the esports world. So uh, food bowls at the computer desk. Chick mm -hmm. playing uh, in the. Oh, we're not doing the play in the bath. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. What else you got here? I feel like I feel like Nelson. I don't know. Like Nelson on the team. I didn't get to see it. Okay. Because it's on cable, and I'm a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put it on clips. Twitch. No, no, no. I know, but right? I I didn't get to see the whole episode either because I I too do not have cable. But um, Rod Breslow, so slasher, was putting out some clips from the actual episode. Yeah. And uh, no, the it was interesting. One. Yeah, the girl gamer <laughs> one. It was really funny. Uh, I mean, there were just some moments in there that kind of do make sense, like the messy desk, obviously, with Bart. Um, playing the bathtub, not so much. Uh, I've never actually played, uh, I guess I played Clash Royale, maybe, but like. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't, tried to I have avoid a piece electronics game. and water. I know, yeah, that's a little scary. He did dress it up, though, with the plastic. And then, like, Nelson on the team, the thing is, I don't see Nelson as a PC gamer. I don't see What, you calling him a casual? I'm not calling him a casual. <laughs> hold, hold on. I'm not calling him a casual. I'm just saying he seems more of a console bro. Yeah. That's all. I don't know. I'm, he's a casual. I don't know. I'm, I'm, a lot of people talking about it, but I feel like it was simply just a, a slightly irrelevant Simpsons franchise trying to come back. But then uh -oh. they put it on cable where no gamers are going to watch it anyways. Shots fired mm. by Brody Moore like yet stretching. again. They were stretching. Anyways, let's move on before they attack me. Mm. All I got to say right now is what? Toy Story 4. Oh. It's looking pretty good. JK, it's Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> but, but that's it. I want to see all the characters done. I mean... Like, can you imagine T-Rexes and little piggies? I just don't know how you would have Buzz Lightyear in Red Dead. Like, where would that even be? Oh, I guess that, that doesn't thematically It doesn't. It just doesn't work. It, could o it could only be... Yeah, it could only be Woody and Jesse. That, that's the only thing that really works no. for Red Dead. Yeah. Slinky Dog? No, Slinky Dog, I mean, he would just have to be a regular dog. You can't... There's no Slinky Dog. Well, it's, Just like not, it's a, it's a fictional dog. universe, Marissa. I look at it as real, okay? Arthur Morgan is my boyfriend. And, uh, yeah, moving on. Okay. Let <laughs> us know who you think had a better day today. Press one in chat for me or two for Brody. Vote me. We'll see you next time. But until then, hit us up on all our socials at Squad State. We'll see you soon.